Welcome. I hope you are doing great. As a part of this video, we will go through what are the steps for installation and configuration of SSIS. By the way, what is SSIS? Full form of SSIS is SQL Server Integration Services. But what exactly it is? It is a platform for building enterprise level data integration and data transformation solutions. In a very, very layman terms, it is a ETL tool from Microsoft. If I have to install the SSIS, I have to go through some steps. First and foremost thing is you need to install the SQL Server. After that, you got to install the Visual Studio. Then you should go ahead and configure SSIS. These are the important steps to install and configure SSIS. Let's get started with the installation. As we already indicated, the first step is to install the SQL Server. At the moment, what we understand is SQL Server 2019 is the stable version. Let's go ahead and download that first. So I'll say SQL Server 2019 and say enter. You can see the first it is SQL Server downloads Microsoft. Click on that. In this, you can see multiple options for you. SQL Server on Azure, SQL Server at the edge, SQL Server on premises. As of now, we want to go for the SQL Server on premises. So within that, let's go ahead and click on download now option in a express. If you see here, it is already downloaded. It is indicating to me it is already downloaded. What we need to do is click on that and say, do you want to allow this application to make the changes to your device? Yes, click on yes. If you don't find that pop up, then you have to go and search for that exe in the downloads. There you go. Installation has started. Let us go ahead with the basic installation for the learning purposes. You have to scroll this down and read all the things as much as possible and then go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. It will ask you for a location. I will just leave it the default location. Then go ahead and click on install. It is downloading the installation packages. It may take some time. Let us patiently wait until this is done. Now you can see it says download successful and it has started the installation. It may take some time. Let us wait patiently. Now you can see installation has completed successfully. What do you need to do? Ideally, it says a computer restart is required, but we can directly go ahead and click on connect now. Then it displays one rows affected. Then we got to install SSMS. Click on install SSMS. It will take us to the Microsoft site where we got to download the SSMS. Here SSMS is nothing but SQL Server Management Studio. You can see here, let us click on free download for SQL Server Management Studio. I clicked on that now. Yes, it is downloading here. You can see it, right? It depending upon your internet speed, it will take some time to download the SSMS. It's downloaded. Now let's go ahead and find out where it is downloaded. I'll just go to the downloads folder. Is there here? Double click on exe to open that. So it will ask us to give a permission to continue. I'll just go ahead and say yes. Please go ahead and install SSMS. Then I have to click on install here. The installation is in progress. It will take a few minutes. Let us wait until it is done. There you go. Installation of SSMS is completed. Now close this guy and close this guy. Let's go and see whether SQL Server has been installed or not. I will go to the start menu. Okay, then I will type SQL Server Management Studio. It is already there. I'll click on this. You can see SQL Server Management Studio is opening for you. Now we are trying to connect between the SSMS that is 
SQL Server Management Studio and SQL Server. So version of the SQL Server, what we have installed is the SQL Express. We tend to connect that. You can see already it has detected that. I'm going to click on connect. It is connecting now. The connection is done. Now to check whether it is working properly or not, let us double click on this databases. You can see some databases here. I want to create a new database. Then you can see pop-up window opening here. There we have to specify the database name. You can specify the database name as you want. I am going to give it as a bliss mass. Okay. And I'll click on OK. Yes, the database is created. I can see it, right? But we don't have any tables here. Okay. Where is it? So we created a database called bliss mass. Now let us go ahead and create one table to just verify whether we are able to create the table or not. The way we can do it is click on a new query and you can see a window opens here. I will go ahead and type a query to create a table. Create table, then I'll say employee, then employee ID, and I want the employee ID to be int. I'll make that as a primary key, then EMP name, then I'll make that as a where care. Okay, 20, and that should be enough. And let me go ahead and execute this. You can see this executed successfully. If you go and click on this and refresh it, you can see there is a employee table created here. So if you want to check what is there, you can say select top 100 rows. As of now, nothing is there. So it has an option to create the query for you. We completed the installation of SQL Server. The next step in terms of SSS configuration is installing the Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and do that now. How do I do it? Let me open a browser and I will say Visual Studio. So if you say Visual Studio, that should be fine. But what I'll do is I will say Visual Studio dot Microsoft.com so that we can directly get into the Microsoft website. Go to downloads here. Click on a downloads. Scroll down. Go to the older downloads. Since we have installed the SQL Server 2019, we got to install the Visual Studio also 2019. Click on this, then go ahead and download. You got to provide your user ID and password of your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, let to create. I provided my user ID and password. Click on no. So we got to go ahead and click on Visual Studio Professional. We have to download Visual Studio Community 2019 version. We'll go ahead and click on download and it will start done. You have to double click on this file. It will ask for the permission. I'll say yes. I'll click on continue here and it started downloading. It has started the installation. You can see it says getting things ready. We need the .NET for desktop development. Click on that and scroll down. Then you would need data storage and processing. Click on that. Then go ahead and install. It will take some time. You got to be patient until it is installed. It's almost finishing up the installation. Only one more percent is remaining. Okay, we'll say not now, maybe later. Let's go ahead and start the Visual Studio. It says we are preparing for the first use. Let's go ahead and close all the windows in the background and keep only this guy. It says we are preparing for the first use. This may take a few minutes. We need to wait here. Then it will open a window with these four options. Within this, we got to click on create a new project because we are using the Visual Studio for the first time. I clicked on create new project. So I'll select on the console application option and click on next. Then I have to provide the project name. Let us say data engineering one project. I'll say next. Keep the same option and click on create. It is creating a project now. You can see you have this is a Visual Studio. Click on extension and select the manage extension. 
within this option as we need to integrate with the SSIS, click on SQL Server Integration Service Projects and download. Click on download. It's done. Let us click on this file. We got to choose the English. We'll go with the English United States and click on OK. So we are trying to say, can we kind of go ahead and have the SQL Server Integration Services? I'll say next. Then I will say install. We got to close the Visual Studio window here and then come back. Click on OK. Now go ahead and click on install again. It should be happening. We're getting one more error. How do we tackle this? It's asking us to close the this process. Let us go to the task manager and see if there is any process called perf Batson 2. Yeah. Once you close that process, if you allow some time that if you close all the windows of a Visual Studio, that should get automatically closed. If not, you can go to the task manager and close that process. After that, click on install, then we'll get this particular pop-up. Then click on yes. It is taking some time to wait patiently for this. Yes, setup is completed now. Let us close this guy and then Let's go to the start menu and open the Visual Studio. It's coming up. Yes. So let's go ahead and create a new project here. I'll click on new project. Then here we have to search for integration services project. So let me click on this search box and I'll say integration services project. We have integration services project. Click on that and say Next. So we can name the project the way we want. So I'll just keep it as it is and I'll click on create button. It's creating a project now. Let us close this getting started. And now we are all set with SSIS. As a last step to work on SSIS, let us connect the SQL Server with the Visual Studio. For that, go to the start menu. We already have a SQL Server opened here. Now, if the SQL Server is not open, then you have to open it by going to the Start menu. Now, click on Connect, and then it will display the server names. You can see server. If you click on the database engine, it will display the server name. In SQL Server, create a new, then here, copy this server name, and open a Visual Studio. Click on the Tools. Click on connect to database. Click on Microsoft SQL Server and click on continue. Here we have to paste the server name. Then go ahead and select the database. In my case, I have Bismos. Then test connection. Test connection succeeded. It is connected. Click on OK. Then click on OK again. If you see here, there is a connection established between the SQL Server and the Visual Studio. Wonderful. We are all set to explore the SSIS. Thank you.